in YouTube my name is Gerald and I wear wigs yeah okay so where does the story begin with me wearing wigs well you see I like most kids had the same bald fade haircut that most black boys have today they still have it for the most part I hated it oh look at that little face wasn't that something yeah, I wasn't happy though. There were many reasons, but one of them was I did not like having short hair. If you know me in real life, every single time you see me with short hair, I was not happy about that hair. Ever. Ever. Not once. You see, I had hair idols. My hair idols were black men who did unconventional things with their hair. See, what I noticed from the time I was a kid is that when you were a black man, specifically in America, there was only so much it seemed you were publicly allowed to do with your hair. And that was bald fade haircut, maybe a high top fade haircut, dreadlocks, afro, braid. That's it. I admire black men especially who challenged that, who came in any field of entertainment or in real life as well, and just gave a variety of looks that were not what you see from the average black man. And myself as a black man, I really took to that and I really respected that and I really wanted to emanate that any way I could. I always knew that me in my 30s would be right here with big hair. Mine or not, it was gonna happen. From the age of 12 to 18, I grew my hair out got pretty long pretty nice um but it never gave me the slash hair that i've always dreamed of and what i didn't know at the time that i now know is that my hair would ultimately never do what slash it did because slash is biracial and beyond even that everyone's hair is its own pattern is its own genetic trait and there's nothing in my genetic trait, especially from the men's side, that gives slash hair. So yeah, no. I kept my hair braided my entire high school life. And I alternated between braids and afros. And then in my senior year, I took the big step of getting a, of getting a relaxer. It was actually a texturizer, but we used it like it was a relaxer. So yeah, it, it relaxed the hair. And yes, my hair was amazing. It gave me the Prince Graffiti Bridge vibe I've always wanted. Which, if you didn't know, was a weave. Here I was, 18, I had a relaxer. Problem was though, I knew nothing about how to maintain a relaxer. I knew so much about wigs, weaves, and long hair, and taking care of long hair, but I did not know about chemicals in hair. And my hair broke off very fast because I did not get a touch up at the right time and I was not maintaining a relaxer right, so it broke off very easily. And that same year, when I was 18, I did my first and possibly my last big chop. I got my big chop, went back to being a little boy mad at having short hair. Look at that guy. He is not happy. He is not happy. That haircut took all the joy from him. The irony is I have short wigs that I really do love. But then, hey, the fun with that comes from the fact that I'm not locked into that short hair, so that's fun and then it's also really great having naturally long hair underneath a short wig and it's very happy to say that since that big chop I've really learned a lot about my hair in that time I even got a relaxer again but I actually took care of it for a good two or three years until I decided to grow it out through my yarn braids again again yarn braids came to the rescue yarn braids completely helped me rebuild my hair from nothing I really appreciate 
what extensions have done for my hair and protective style in that it really brought back a lot of thickness it brought back a lot of protection that my hair needed from me being in it all the time but one thing I never was able to fully enjoy with extensions via yarn braids or um, individual dreadlock crochet extensions is that you are really locked into that style until you take it out and and I did them myself so that meant that I had to take them out myself and both doing them and taking them out was a huge task that I'm not a fan of and I don't really intend on doing <laughs> you know not in the near future but I will say I think that they're a good alternative for traveling because you know it's nice to not have to worry about your wig or anything during traveling when you have a style that's locked in but if I do it again it will be by someone else's hands that's for sure but I wanted something that I could take off at night something that you know I like having hair like this in the day when I'm doing activities when I'm meeting with people when I'm just on my walks outside alone but when I come back home I want low maintenance I want to get comfortable and comfortable is having my braids out my slap cap or my do-rag on and my hair moisturized under that this is how my hair looks today it is the longest it is the healthiest and it is the thickest it's ever been in my entire life and the reason is because of the protective styles we called wigs you know Whitney Houston once gave the exact perfect analogy of why wigs are called the perfect styles take it away Whitney so, you know, I braid my hair up underneath and keep mm -hmm. it down so mm -hmm. that it grows, it's healthy and strong, right. and that nothing happens to it, and right. I do this. Exactly. There you go. Okay. <laughs> That's right. I will not be bald when I'm 90. <laughs> Never. Whitney has hair down to here. God damn it, I missed that woman. Anyway, as she said, I did exactly like she mentioned in a video that's going on under this wig right now. My hair is braided down neatly, comfortably, completely flat, so that, you know, and it's moisturized, it's taken care of, and, and the second I turn this camera and these hot ass lights off, you can best believe these braids are going to be popping. Before I started wearing wigs and I would do extensions, oh, I wore my hair out. I was straightening it all the time. I was blow drying it all the time. It was going from braids to straight to, I was absolutely wearing it out. And when I would straighten it, it would always go to the same length, which is basically the bottom of my neck. And I, and I just kind of believed that, hey, my hair just stops growing. I, I, that's just the genetics. It just stops. And that does seem to be the case sometimes for men. And sometimes I thought that I thought that, that was actually the case for most men, but it's not. The truth is, a lot of times men don't know how to take care of their actual hair. Taking care of my actual hair is actually the matter of keeping it hydrated, keeping it moisturized. So I've been wearing wigs since 2015. That's when I made my first crochet wig. And I made it. I did not wear it out of the house very much. But the first time I wore it was to a Janet Jackson concert, the Unbreakable Tour, at the Los Angeles Forum. And um, yeah, the entire way there, I took the train and I felt like I was being watched <laughs> from everybody and I didn't feel very comfortable but at the same time I felt very me and it took a little minute I started making more wigs I started having more variety and yeah I got to a place where I do this regularly I do this every day I do this every single time I leave the house basically it's fun for me you know I got a whole collection here and I can have my hair any way I want to I can have it short I can have it long I can have it in a variety of colors you know all that while my natural hair is living its best life it also works for me in a career sense I'm an actor I'm a comedian I'm a writer producer I like this being a calling card I love owning that they don't mean anything about my masculinity. They don't mean anything about femininity. They are simply my style of choice. Like shoes. Like socks. Like a shirt with a band you love, you know? It's hair you wear. And I like wearing my hair that I can take off later, you know? And to me, I, I love being a role model potentially for boys across the board that 
don't want to go for the typical image that want to try something different or want to step out on something unique you know it'd be cool to see this thing normalize but hey even if it doesn't I don't care I'm gonna still do it I like this I don't think it's gonna pass anytime soon but hey it's me hey it's me you deal with it or you don't and I love this hair journey that I'm on with it I feel like the more wigs you get even though it's a costly thing the more wigs you get and you make and I do both um, you discover more things about yourself so um, you know I discovered that when it's loose hair I love human hair so I will absolutely shell the money and get some good quality human hair so, on this channel along with music reaction along with reactions along with fan made videos want to take want to give you guys you know some advice on wigging and you know I've discovered a lot of tips tricks and things in a life of protective styles and I'm going to share that with you guys it's a journey I'm embarking on um hope you're receptive to it hope you're open to it you know if you have any questions, if you'd like a follow-up video, I would love to do a follow-up video answering your questions about me being a guy wearing wigs. Let me know below, and I will get back to you. I want to encourage people to find themselves in their style their own way. Well, signing out. Thank you guys for listening to me. Care of yourselves and each other.